Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions, and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website, edvforme.org. This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to, or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message forum on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them before we even talk about them. Get a heads up. Check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now. Go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time. Get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device. Welcome back, everybody, to End Time Dream and Vision. By the way, if you need a Bible, don't have access to one, can't afford one, we can help. Email us and say, I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org and we'll send you our free Bible, free shipping anywhere on earth just for you. Okay? And if you love watching videos about dreams and visions dealing with the end times, that's what we do here most of the time. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. Now, today, we are going to be looking at rapture dreams, and these dreams are posted on our website. And the first rapture dream I want to share with you guys, this is from Pieter. I had this dream where I was standing behind a woman. She turned around and said to me, the rapture is at midnight. I said to her, there are so many stories about the rapture that we don't know what is true. She looked at me again and said, I am telling you the rapture is at midnight. And then my dream ended. So, will the rapture be at midnight? No, it won't be at midnight. Because if it's midnight, say here, it's going to be uh, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning in Israel. And it's going to be 9 o'clock in India. You know, you guys get the idea. Even here in the United States, we have four different time zones. Okay, if it's midnight here, where I'm at in Indiana, we are in a central time zone. It's going to be 10 o'clock in the Pacific time zone on the other side of the country. So the rapture will not be at midnight. But the Bible does talk about where Jesus gives a parable about the bridegroom coming for his bride. We can see a parallel for that where the bridegroom comes and takes his bride away. So we can see a parallel with that dealing how God will deal with the body of Christ. We can see that right there. But as far as the bride being removed at midnight, I'm sure there's a possibility that somewhere on earth when the rapture takes place, because remember, it's a global event, it will be midnight somewhere. And if it's going to be midnight anywhere, my, my money is it's probably going to be in Israel if God's going to do that. So please comment. Let me know what you guys think about that dream. Let's get another one here. Now... This next rapture dream is from Stephanie. Stephanie says, my six-year-old daughter had a rapture dream. Okay, so this is a child's rapture dream here. Hello, Brother Bob, brothers, sisters in Christ. My daughter Sarah had a rapture dream and felt led to share it. She goes on to say here, I was taking a bath 
playing with my toys and I called my mommy to come in and look at something I wanted to show her. Then we heard a noise that sounded like a really loud trumpet. My mommy asked my daddy to go and see what the sound was. My daddy then looked out the window and he said he saw some angels flying in the sky. And he saw one angel standing on the right holding a trumpet and there was Jesus words on the trumpet and a Bible on it too. It was golden with sparkling lights. It was so beautiful. Nobody else had a trumpet like this one. Only that angel did. And the rest of the angels were praising Jesus and singing. We were all in the middle together and Jesus appeared in the sky. He was on top of a white horse looking at us. And then I woke up to tell my mommy. So here in this dream is from a six year old girl. Remember that now, okay? She was taking a bath and then she hears a trumpet blast. Of course, that's 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17, where the Bible says Jesus will descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of an archangel, the trumpet of God. Okay. Who blows this trumpet? Will God blow this trumpet? Will there be an angel blowing this trumpet? Will Jesus be blowing this trumpet? Great question. Okay, it's a trumpet of God. My guess would be God the Father blowing this trumpet. But be it as it may, this is a child's dream here. So she saw a special angel that was different from all the other angels. So who was blowing this trumpet? Was it a specific angel blowing the trumpet of God? My guess is going to be Jesus blowing this trumpet. Okay, that's the trumpet of God. Jesus is God. So I believe Jesus is going to be blowing this trumpet. She said here the angel was standing at the right holding the trumpet and the words Jesus were on the trumpet and the Bible too. So who's at the right hand of God the Father, authority in heaven? Jesus Christ. And his name Jesus is right here. And the trumpet had a Bible on it as well, the Word of God. Who's the Word of God? Jesus Christ. So my money says it was Jesus blowing this trumpet. She said nobody else had a trumpet like this one, so it was obviously the trumpet of God. And these angels were praising Jesus and singing. And then Jesus appeared in the sky on a white horse. Will Jesus be on a white horse when the rapture takes place? Don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But he definitely will be on a white horse when he returns to the earth for his second coming. His physical return to the earth where he sets up residence on the earth. So great dream here shared with us from Stephanie, from her daughter Sarah. Thank you so much. Now, before we go any further, I would like to just share with you guys what we are doing with Christian missions all around the world and how you can make a difference in God's kingdom before we go home. So that way you'll see great rewards in the Bema Seat. So let me show you this quick clip and I'll be right back after this quick break. Friends, look around right now. A lot of things are changing. They're changing really fast. And that only means one thing. The seven-year tribulation, Daniel's 70th week, is at our doorstep, which means time is running out right now to get out there and do the work of our Heavenly Father, share the love and hope of Jesus Christ, not just here in America, but all around the world. And if you've been feeling that call to get out there to make a difference in God's kingdom, but you don't know where to start, Feed My Sheep Today is a great place to start. Because unlike other places, here, you can make a direct impact for God's kingdom in growing the body of Christ. Why is that? While everybody else is investing money into big, beautiful temple-like buildings with huge parking lots, with big light shows and sound systems to preach a bloodless gospel, what we're doing here at Feed My Sheep today is simply taking all the funds coming in and investing it straight into the ministry, which means your financial support is going directly into the missionary's hands within two to three days from the time that you give, and they are buying Bibles in their own native languages, and especially King James Bibles for the English readers, and also everything involved with humanitarian relief aid that will be needed for that area. We just don't show up and start preaching to a bunch of starving, dying, unclothed people that are freezing to death. No, we do humanitarian relief aid first. We get everybody up to speed, and then after showing them the love of Jesus Christ, in this manner, what we continue to see is 
people are really open to what we have to say after providing them this aid. After all, we know actions speak louder than words. And at this point, they are very open and welcoming to a faith-based message that goes against everything they've known in their entire life. And that is, of course, the hope and love of Jesus Christ, the gift of grace that is available to them now because of the finished works of Jesus Christ at the cross, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. After sharing the gospel of grace with them, these people heard the message. As a result, they showed great faith in that message that we brought forth to them. And they came forth, proclaiming that they believe, and they were saved for the first time in their lives by grace, through faith and now they're sealed in the body of Christ and we give them each their own Bible and from that point forward we will continue to teach them lead them and guide them and grow them as new members of the body of Christ with a very heavy emphasis on rightly dividing the word of truth and this all happened because of your financial support and you will see all the rewards from this at the beam of seat judgment because God knows this would never have happened unless it wasn't for your faithful giving. Trust me, he's keeping track of everything here. So right now, if you're feeling that slight pull, please don't ignore it. Just listen to what the Holy Spirit is instructing you to do. God wants to reward you greatly in this life for being a faithful supporter for his kingdom and he's going to greatly reward you at the beam of seat judgment in our next life to come for stepping forth and being that faithful servant a good steward with what he gave you all you need to do is go to our official website as www.feedmysheeptoday.org there you can give by credit card paypal bank draft or just simply send your gift in the mail super easy website to use big buttons only take you about a minute and you are done. And please consider becoming a monthly sustainer. This is great for those who can't afford to make a big impact right now. Instead, you could do it over a long period of time. This will help us out greatly because if we know how much money is coming in next month, this helps us to coordinate and plan and set up these locations that we will be visiting the next month knowing that we will have enough funds to purchase enough bibles and humanitarian relief aid that will be sufficient for these areas that we are planning on going into please just ten dollars a month that can make a huge difference and don't forget to follow us on our youtube channel feed my sheep today where you can see everything that we are spending the money on and all the new believers in Christ that came forth because of your financial support. Great in heaven will your rewards be. Thank you all so much for your support. May God bless you all. Thank you so, so much for your much, much needed ongoing support. Folks, time's almost up. We try to do the best we can. Unfortunately, it takes money to make this stuff happen. And as long as there's enough money coming in, we can continue buying Bibles. It would be nice to find somebody that gives us the Bibles for free in these areas. I'm sure we can find people who could donate Bibles here in the United States, but it costs a fortune to send them overseas. So unless you might know somebody who's a distributor in other countries that can give us Bibles for free, or if you're a Bible distributor and you can get us Bibles for free, Bless your heart. <laughs> Bless your heart. Let me know, please. So that way we can continue getting out the free word of God to new believers worldwide. But until that happens, we have to continue using money to buy these Bibles and all the humanitarian relief aid and everything else. So if God is pulling at your heart to make a big difference in his kingdom right now, and he wants you to use Feed My Sheep today to do it, then please don't ignore that call. Go to that link below and go to our website and see what you can do, okay? We thank you so much for your help. Great in heaven will your rewards be at the BBC Judgment from all these things that are accomplished to feed my sheep today. So everybody, let's get back into these dreams here. This next one I wanna share with you is from Mary. Mary's rapture dream went like this. About a month ago, while I was dozing off to sleep, 
I was first in that half awake and half asleep state. Seemingly, like seven feet away from the foot of my bed, I saw the Lord Jesus, glorious in his red robe. I could see a quick glimpse of heaven from behind him. It was too bright. He said to me, get up, go. I was confused and was so tired that I completely fell into a deep sleep. I assumed it was my imagination from being so tired that day. I just put my crying son to sleep. It was time for me to take a nap as well. But in my dream, I was assembling plates of a Thanksgiving food for my neighbors and homeless people in my community. It felt like I couldn't serve the turkey stuffing, mashed potatoes, and cranberry sauce fast enough for everyone. I also felt a dire urgency to share the gospel to the people I was feeding. It was very dark outside. Immediately after this, I saw a big group of people getting crowned by Jesus. He was wearing a large crown himself and still wearing the red robe, and it was incredibly red. I stood in line and got a crown as well. Then I saw a couple of weird figures in the distance. There were these ghost-like people that were dressed and covered from head to toe in an entire sheet. Like what kids wore back in the day for Halloween costumes as ghosts. Except there were no holes cut out for the eyes to see. I instinctively knew that they were horse riders. And one in particular was very pale looking. I had the feeling they were ready to descend down to the earth and bring death. That was the end of my dream. When I woke from my nap, I went to my front porch to sit for a bed and ponder what I had just dreamt about. I looked up to the sky and saw clouds that were perfectly shaped like a cross, a crucifix. I took that as a confirmation from the Lord. Glory to God. So here in this dream, she sees the Lord Jesus Christ and he says, get up and go, which means get to work. Okay. And then she fell asleep and received a vision from the Lord where she was feeding a bunch of people, serving people. And then she started preaching to these people. You know, that's kind of like what we do at Feed My Sheep today. You know, I keep bringing it up, but that's what we do. We feed the people, we help them, we take care of their needs, and then we preach to them. Okay, it's a lot easier to preach to people when they have a full stomach. When they're starving, laying on the ground, like, ugh. You know, that's tough to say, hey, hey, you know what? You know, Jesus died for your sins. It's like, please feed me. You know, it's a horrible situation. We're trying to do the best we can. And this right here is perfect. She was serving food to the homeless, people in the community. And she couldn't serve the food fast enough for everyone to eat because there's so many people who are hungry. You know, there's so many people in need. Just like what we're dealing with feeding my sheep today. I also felt a dire urgency to share the gospel. And it's the same thing here, man. We're just trying to share this gospel of grace as fast as we can. And then quickly after that, we are at a crowning ceremony, which is a beam of seat judgment. Okay? For all the works that we achieved here on the earth, whether directly what you do yourself or indirectly through the work that you, for example, give to feed my sheep today. And I just feel led to say this right now. Okay, I don't, I don't want to keep talking about this, but this is a perfect dream to talk about it. All right, so we were, she was taking care of all these people, and then she immediately went to her crowning ceremony for the work that she did. But then she saw all these people off in the distance where they were covered in these white sheets, and she knew that they were horse riders. So we know there are four horsemen that ride that take over the earth. You have a white horse, you got a red horse, a black horse, and a pale horse or green horse. Now, will each of these horse riders have horse riders behind them? Will these horse riders be leaders? Okay, interesting to think about that. Is it one horse rider that does all the damage? The Bible says it's just one horse rider, but could this horse rider also be leading many horses behind it. For example, the white horse rider has an army of white horses behind him. The red horse rider has an army of red horses behind him. And the riders, black, the same. Pale horse, the same. 
Can that be the case? I don't know. The Bible doesn't say that. She's talking about multiple horse riders here. Okay. I know death and hell follow the green horse rider, the pale horse rider, as the Bible talks about in the book of Revelation. Okay. But we don't know for sure. Interesting dream. What do you guys think? Please comment. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. May God bless you all and hang in there for we are almost finished. Amen. Amen. And friends, don't forget to request your free After the Rapture Survival Info Flash Drive today. Free flash drive, free shipping, our gift to you. On this flash drive, there are 7 gigabytes of information that will be very helpful to all your friends and family who will be left behind. Starting with the King James Bible, Children's Bible, plus 80 Bibles in other languages that are the most common after English. On this flash drive are also ebooks, letters, sermons, videos, news articles, articles written by believers explaining why mass amounts of people have disappeared and what's next, and much, much more. There's even a section called ABC Salvation, which is a quick introduction that people can read where they can quickly learn about who Jesus Christ really is and a condensed version of the good news of the gospel that was achieved by his finished works at the cross and how they can be saved through him and him alone. These letters are also provided in 80 different languages most popular after English. All this and much more is available on this flash drive that we could send to you for free. Just email us your request and that information is in the description box below or just go to our website edvforme.org and download the entire thing for free. They are separated into four easy downloadable folders you can download and save to any device. Copy and paste this information to your friends and family's computers and devices. Put them on other flash drives and hand them out. This is an excellent way to get the information out to everybody we know so that way they are prepared if they are left behind. Information about this is all in the description box below. When I give it all